back in the office today with the TX10 controller from Femi. I just received a file from Femi, a one gigabyte file, another zip file, with a brand new Flash firmware update for the controller. The first update, if you remember, was to correct an internal timing error on the clock. This one is to correct a size management issue with having to introduce different wallpapers. We could never get the right size. No matter if it was 1080 or 720, it would always be skewed and I had to make that weird 1618 by 1134 and do all that kind of stuff. Well, I did make a whole bunch of different sized images and I labeled them, so we're gonna see if that works this time. So next we have to update the controller, just like if you go back to my last um, I think it's number five video or something. I'll put it up here anyway. Uh, that went through the whole flashing process. We're going to quickly go through that again uh, for the second time and not as detailed, just rush through that and then we'll install the stuff we have to install and we'll come back at the end, okay? So let's get into the flashing of the Femi TX10 controller. This is the second flash update for the Femi TX10 controller. It's to address the wallpaper sizing issue. Uh, prior to this, as you've noticed, no matter what dimensional image you put into wallpaper, it skews it and distorts it. And I had to do some custom configurations to get it to work properly. So the first update was to correct a timing issue, an internal timing issue, and this one is to correct uh, the wallpaper, and I'm sure there'll be more of it. Let's go through this quickly. Again, there is a very large uh, one gigabyte download of a zip file. In that, there are all the files, including the USB driver and the APK file for the Femi Navi 2 app and everything. You may have your own copies of those. It doesn't matter. Let's go through this. Again, once you unzip this, it creates another folder, TX10. Double click that. Inside that is another TX10. Double click that. And we get these folders. Looks exactly like the other zip file, but this one on top here, the big one, says 203. Realist. 203. The other one was 202. So this is 203. If you've already done this before and have the installer installed, then you'll go right to this next step. Okay. If you don't, you'll have to go to Windows, you'll have to install the driver, and then you'll have to install the uh, QFIL uploader. Okay. My other video shows you how to do that, but you just install those. Let's go back. And we have this. So now we're going to start the controller. And again, remember to put it into the burn mode is you press and hold C5, C6, C2. And then while holding that, you press the power button until you hear a beep. Let's do that now. and the red flashing light on the power button is on. Then we plug in the USB to the controller. Okay. Then we go and look for QFIL. We type in our search QFIL. Once it comes up, we look at it like this. We select the port. It's automatically selected there. Click OK. We select a flat build. We browse. And we are going to look into the new one because we want 203. This is 202, the last one. So now we have to go back to find that, which I know where I downloaded it. 
Pini. Controller. This one here. In there. In there. There it is. 203. Okay. And we're looking for MBN. Fire hose 8953 MBN. Open that. Okay. Then we're looking for XML. Want the original. Open. A flash patch should come up. The patch. Open. And we hit download. And we wait. And when it's finished, it says download succeed. Succeed? Yes. Download finished. And we exit. And we unplug the USB. And we turn off the controller. Long press the power button. And it turns off. You have to hold the power button for about 12 seconds. Okay. Next, let's see what happened. We have to load. Okay, we have to load our APK pack, which is this new one here. And this one here is just for uh, Chinese language typing, etc. So we want to load this to our SD card. Okay, so we start the controller up again. So we're going to speed through this uh, video a little bit. And uh, you know that if you want to install an APK, that you have to put it onto your SD card and then activate it from the actual TX10. But uh, this APK for the Femi Navi 2 is not the newest one. And I'll put a link for the newest one. This is 1.0.4. The new one is 1.0.5. And I'll have that link below. You put that on your SD card and then activate it from within the file management system of the TX10. We want to talk about wallpaper. So I'm going to go through that process on a different view and we're going to look at the actual controller now. Connect the USB to here. We'll turn it on. Okay, and now we have to go to our connection, USB, file transfer, we have to go into our computer here, you can see in the background. Okay. And we have to transfer those images that we set. If you can see that here, let's bring that up a little bit. Okay, so this is the sand disk on there. We have these three images here. We're going to copy them. And we're going to go to internal okay where's pictures pictures there we are and we're going to paste there's the three pictures there okay Let's close that out. Let's turn off the USB and notice that it flips down and it flips down to RC relay. So let's go back, back, okay. We'll go back again. Now we're going to back to we're going to go back to settings, display, wallpaper. 
Ba -bum. Here's the three here because it's in the pictures folder. Okay, and they said 1080 by. Let's see this one. 1920 by 1080. Let's set that. See what happens. Bingo. It works. Okay, 1920 by 1080 is the right dimensions for a wallpaper. So they fixed it. And we're hoping that the timing is fixed as well, still. So there you have it. It does work. Let's go for a conclusion. Well, for a quick conclusion, um, it did get fixed, yes. So the wallpaper is now a standard 1920 by 1080, which is great, okay? A few things you have to remember though. It doesn't install any of your programs and your settings are all lost back to factory. So you have to go in and set up your Wi-Fi. You have to go in and set up your date and time because they'll be off as well. But once you're set, you're set, okay? And you have to install the updated APK pack for the Vimy Navi 2. Now the one that's in this big one gigabyte file is 1.0.4. The latest one is 1.0.5. And in the description below, I'll put links to all these files and, and everything else. And here I will also put a link to video number five up here somewhere. Um, where you can watch the entire process slowed down of the Femi Flash process, okay? It works very well, it's fairly simple. Uh, it took maybe two minutes today, maybe two or three minutes at the most, okay? And uh, yeah, uh, the odd thing is that they supplied an older version of the app with the new update for the Flash. But come see, come saw. So it seems that Femi is listening to us, okay? And they are trying to update as uh, issues become uh, become aware. So that's a good thing. Uh, we'll wait and see what happens next. I know there's a lot of updates to come. There's so much future possibilities for this controller. And we're waiting on the RX10 module and we're waiting on an Assistant 2 program. Uh, we're waiting for all kinds of things, so it's going to be an exciting, exciting little trip. And I'm sure a lot of things are come, going to come out before the Christmas rush. So, till the next time, take care, get out, get some fresh air. i got to go out and cut grass again, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Okay, I know you thought it was over, but there is another update to the update to the flash update regarding wallpaper. I did some more experimenting. It's not only 1920 by 1080, it's any 16 by 9 ratio image. Okay, so any 16 by 9 ratio image will fit. I tried it with a 720, a 480, everything. So a 16 by 9 image you can use for a wallpaper okay that's all i wanted to say take care